Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to be showing you the surfacing loft feature and within a feature called uh, a tool within that feature called the Add Loft Sections tool. Let's see how this works. Here in this case, I have a long loft and uh, I have one profile over here and I see another profile over here. And then in this long section, I don't have any profile until I uh, click on the profile on the on towards the end. So if there was a way to add a couple of profiles or even one profile in this long section, that will give me uh, the capability to manipulate uh, the loft in this area more precisely. So let's see how this works. I'm gonna open this file and go directly into my SOLIDWORKS. And from my SOLIDWORKS surfacing tab, I'm going to grab my lofted surface tool. Once I have my tool, I'm going to select my profiles one at a time. And it adds these green uh, connecting dots called connectors. You, gotta, you, you need to make sure that these connectors are in the correct uh, orientation of the profile. If I move these connectors to the other side, SOLIDWORKS is unable to create that geometry, so I'm going to move it back uh, to its original position. And now I've got a surface that's going from one profile to the other profile to the third profile. Now, I have the ability of selecting guide curves, so I'll uh, select my guide curves option. I'll select my spline for my first guide curve. And for my second guide curve, I'll go ahead and select the edge of the surface. One click, and uh, SOLIDWORKS takes this in uh, nicely. The one extra feature that I can give uh, to this particular blend is uh, if I select my edge down here, I can uh, look at my edge type and I can create a tangency to the face to give it some more blending. So I'll select that option and it makes a little uh, uh, tangency relationship between this, uh, this surface and this surface over here. So I'll go ahead and I'll hit my green check. Uh, and see how this uh, loft is created. So you notice it's a pretty nice loft that's being created. And uh, But if I look sort of towards the middle, sort of from this view, what it does, it's it's kind of flattening out this loft as, uh, as, uh, as it moves down the profile since there is no more, uh, you know, profiles over here to kind of take that in consideration. So now if there was a way to add a profile over here, that would be very handy. And um, now we can add this uh, very easily in SOLIDWORKS uh, surfacing. So I can right click in this new um, uh, loft that I've created and I'll go ahead and I'll select add loft section. So once I click this add loft section, SOLIDWORKS opens up this plane for us and you notice it has all these three profiles selected. And what I can do with this plane, I can manipulate this plane. I can uh, rotate this plane to whatever orientation I want to see this plane in. It could be this, it could be that. And then I can also move uh, uh, this plane in and out wherever I want my profile to be located. Uh, so again, once you have in a correct orientation, I can move, uh, I can rotate this plane so I can have a better um, uh, basically what, what I'm going for is the sketch that's being created is kind of have some sort of parallel uh, parallel relationship, not relationship, just a parallel understanding with this profile. So once you uh, have a correct profile kind of created, you just hit the green check. And um, the, now the loft kind of remains the same. The loft hasn't changed. What you have to do is you have to expand your surface loft that you've created and you notice there's going to be a new sketch now. Now uh, there's a new sketch uh, here. I can right click on it on the sketch and I can edit this sketch. And you notice it's a spline and I can just use these spline handles and I can manipulate this however um, I want that curvature to be. So if I want it more round, I have uh, the option of using both handles to, to see how much roundness I want there and which uh, do I want more round down here? Do I want more round there, uh, up here? So, you know, I can add as many profiles as I want and uh, take care of uh, the, the bump that I am looking for in this particular uh, um, region. So we'll say, um, this is a little exaggerated, but we'll keep it this way just to show you uh, how it looks. So if I approve this sketch, you notice how SOLIDWORKS has a little more uh, uh, rounded sort of uh, uh, um, shape in this particular surface uh, section. So this is uh, the add loft section in our, our lofted surface tool. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.